think it's um, pretty, pretty strange to do your first gig in Paris. Maybe, you know, maybe, maybe somewhere. I don't know. I found him on uh, the London Underground and I just, I mean, he was busking and the, the sound was just so incredibly beautiful. Um, and I, yeah, I, I went and gave, I got his phone number. And it's definitely a collaboration. thing with the voice that when 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 I can completely surrender to it when I've done my work when I know when it becomes like um, somebody would say muscle memory where you don't have to remember it here you just remember it in your body that it, it's such an overwhelmingly sen sensual experience that really for me it, it, it's more it's more you know it's like it's more um, sexual references but it's not it's not quite right because it, it, it's almost like the ultimate sex it's beyond sex um, for me you know I don't mean anyone seeing it necessarily but it just uh, the thing of the voice again it's, it's just that the way um, that um, water comes down the window or something it's just so it's so lovely to just be f to be free in that to be free in that fall and I'm and, um, you know, I know it's coming. I, I know I haven't quite got it yet, but I know it's coming. I'm still to me that to me it's still a little bit too cerebral. Like I, I'm, I'm, I'm having to concentrate and be disciplined. And then, but I know it's coming. I mean, I've done. You know, I know these things. <laughs> I've done Queen Adrena for such a long time. I've been on, I've been on stage since I was 18 years old, and I'm very old now. So. Um, I know it's coming that 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 completely un, unbounded moment with Ruby Throat, which I the reason why we bring all that stuff on stage is so so it feels like home, so we feel safe, so we can hope, so we can.
I expose myself, the more protected I am. There's a paradox there. Um, I feel very comfortable with. Um, I think. I, I think in a way I've kind of transposed terror, um, things that would make that would make me very that would make me terrified. I. I I find that very easy now. But, but, I, how do I say it? Because um, I'm still. I know, I know that feeling so well, ter terror so well, that to be so frightened. I know it so well that it almost doesn't mean anything to me anymore. So that that make that becomes a very comfortable place for me. So many times, but I grew up on a boat, and I, li you know, I lived in a hotel. <sighs> Let's see, where am I going with that? Um, elemental music, you know, just the like the sea shanty, the 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 the, the really the really basic folk song that, that um, people sing to get to make it through the night. You know, it's it's and. Uh, I just, I just uh, eventually found the time in my life to be able to do it, because if, if, I've, I've, um, I love Queen Adrena, and I love, I love hysterical violence of it. I, I, Trigger for me to take it to fly, you know. I, I love that, but but this is this this is more uh, to do something quiet and, and bold.
I, I, I've always been very. Uh, I found it hard in my in my in my mind how, how to place music and understand music, really understand its value, because I've always made it. And then when I had his effect on me, I, I actually did understand music and what, what the point is, what the fucking point is. So there it is. It's, I know, I don't know if it's just a voice in the night or a voice in the dark, but... Yeah, I'm very happy to hear that one. <laughs>